we have a clip courtesy of a DJ called Pinera E46. And this is concerning my favorite female DJ out there on the circuit, my favorite woman DJ, my favorite DJ overall, Chippy Nonstop. Remember her? I featured her on the podcast some time ago when she did a live stream, I think for Mix Mag, that was Trida Dash in general. It's not a bad thing. We all have crappy mixes. I have a few of them on my own channel. But, you know, call a spade a spade. I thought the mix was pretty shit. Um, and then I think I also spoke about it because she said some wild stuff on Twitter about people and going to Berlin and male DJs and all this sort of nonsense stuff. And what the conclusion that I came away from it was that most likely this lady is a troll is a shit poster which has worked really well for her because she's got a really amazing little dj career going on i see her in flyers and playing in different places all the time so congratulations well done but when you are a troll and your shit stirrer sometimes if you go too far you end up alienating everyone and now she's at a point where she generally might be the only person who i can think of in culture in arts or whatever you may be called whatever you call this scene who is a minority background person, somebody who's from a place that isn't Europe or whatever, so, you know, you've got that thing going on for you, plays the music that she plays and looks the way that she does, but also is hated by guys and girls equally. <laughs> Ridiculous, like, just because she's annoying. Do you know what I mean? Like, must be the only person in legitimate per that I've seen who's able to do such a thing, who's able to annoy both sexes so easily just through her mere presence and just who she is as a, as a human being, which is hilarious, I think, in general. But I also think... Her presence is necessary. I'm going to be honest. I know this is annoying and people don't like it and they're going to make comments and stuff, but I think her presence is absolutely necessary. So let's continue. This DJ called Panera E46, I think, I guess, was playing on the same lineup as Chippy Nonstop. They get into some passa passa that DJs get into about who's coming on next, what time are you playing, you're playing too fast, you're playing too slow. Nonsense DJ stuff that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You're still both getting paid an exorbitant amount of money to play people's music that isn't yours, to play other people's music, sorry, and just press Q and play. It's a privilege to have that job. It's an absolutely honour to have that job. And the fact that you have it, you should not be taking it for granted and wasting your time arguing about such nonsense things. But again... These are going to DJ. These are going to complain. It is what it is. So um, this um, Instagram uh, compilation that this person put together basically describes the nature of what happened. So first of all, we've got a clip uh, playing here. Let's play the clip. Is there a clip? It is a clip, right? Is it going? No, no it's got here. First of all, it's a clip. So we go to the next page. So yeah, first of all, we see of the first clip, we see a picture of the mixer with everything up, all the channels, which is insane, right? This is pure, insane behavior. This is like, equivalent to like um that viral video of black madonna or now known as the blessed madonna who's slipping you know pulling the flipping uh, mixer from side to side as she's trying to cross fade the tunes in out in out you know from one side to the other um but this is worse because this is, means all four channels are up which means she's either jeff mills reincarnated or she forgot what channel is what channel and stuff's just on or whatever. I don't know. But I would love to hear what that must have sounded like. So all four channels are up. Next slide. We have some rare infield action of Chippy nonstop doing the damn thing, pressing the knobs, flicking the wrist and, you know, being the superstar DJ that she is. And obviously, as you can tell, even to the untrained ear, it's clanging, it's terrible. Um, it just sounds like a complete mess, <laughs> which I love. <laughs> Big up Chippy. Some girl screaming in the background because there's just a girl playing on behind the decks. No acknowledgement of flipping whether or not it's good or not. She's just, yay, slay girl, clanging all over the place. It sounds like pots and pans. You know, it sounds like a flipping, um, a moose ran through flipping Gord Gordon Ramsay's kitchen or something, but who cares? Slay. Jesus Christ, Chippy. <laughs> okay, better. Something's gone out. Okay, so you you, you get the vibes, right? It was, it was a bit of an up and down experience, but we've got some video proof of what has actually happened in the event. 
Then the next slide, you've got a tweet from Chippy Nonstop, who's now verified on Twitter for whatever reason. I mean, she's living a life, but she's won. She won. She won. Mediocre DJ skills, um, expert level trolling and shit posting skills, and the ability to get verified and to go boo all the way to the moon. Big up Chippy Nonstop, man. The best DJ in the world. It continues. I hate DJing with techno men. <laughs> what do we do? We didn't tell you to put all the channels up. Hey, anyway. This guy wouldn't let me play my set and it was at 3.30. I went on at 3.50. Then I heard him talking to the DJ before him saying, being like, why did you end your set at 1.50 BPM? Bebe, you're a professional. Figure it out. <laughs> Imagine if a man said that to her. Figure it out. Or let me show you. <laughs> man spending. Imagine that. Imagine. Hilarious, right? I never understood this whole thing about, oh, when you end your set, well, who cares, 150? I guess it's a European, it's not even a European thing, it's a UK thing. No, UK people don't really care about that. Maybe it's a European thing, actually, I think about it. It's a European thing where, like, if one person's playing a two-hour set and you're meant to be playing after them, there's usually this understanding between DJs that you're going to, like, give the person a great way to kind of start their set so you end it by kind of lowering the pace and slowing it down so that they have a chance to start their set. But the best clubs I've been to, the best place people I've heard play, what they do is that you just play your set, hour or two hours, and then when it's your last tune, you just lower the song, and the other person makes it known, yeah, give this guy a round or girl a round of applause. That was sick. Everyone rounds applause, da, 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 the, the tune gets lowered, and then the other person just starts. They don't attempt to mix in the other track. That's something that we do a lot here in the UK, where you come on next and you're mixing into the other track. No, you don't need to mix in. Let the person have their moment. They play their set. Let them get the acknowledgement and the love. And then you can start clean. And I, I prefer doing that myself. I prefer kind of starting off very slow. I put on something that's like 82 BPM, just to kind of, you know, um, what you call it? Just to give the dance floor a bit of a rinse. Let people go off and get drinks. Go in the toilets, do a bump. Have a piss, have a shit. And then as I ramp up again, people can come back in and decide whether they want to stay or not. But this whole idea of like, oh, it has to be like, well, what the, what tempo I'm playing is just some weird thing. I don't know why people have that weird hang up. Anyway, next slide. Uh, Panera then responds. Saw that tweet said, yeah, you didn't mention my name, but I'm going to put, put a flipping name on it. He says, are you joking? You did the same thing weeks ago. We in the lineup on the party in Warkal. Intentionally, we didn't use the word playing because that's not what you were been doing there. Oh. When we walked at the DJ booth, you've got three channels up. Every DJ with different. So clearly, you know, I don't know what accent I'm going for there, but you know what I'm doing. Uh, with different BPM. Knobs on the right. It sounded like shit with one spell. You kept clicking chaotically on all the buttons, all the DJs, on all the CDJs. And the best part, you were changing EQ on the channel, which was empty. You know what's hilarious about this? What I like about Chippy? She's just living her life trying to mix tunes. And this guy is seething in the background. Don't get me wrong. If it sounds like a nightmare, it sounds like a nightmare. But the fact that it could annoy you to this level is like, why would you care? If she's sinking out there and actually playing shit, wouldn't it make you look better because you actually played well? If you're going to go after her, you're going to sound amazing. Just let her do her thing in it. But it's a, it's an image of him just in the background. Like, you know what I mean? If this was in my country, I would kill you. You know, <laughs> it's just like, it's just hilarious. Anyway, it continues. Sound system limiter was peaking out at the time, which is the reason why on okay she's continuing with the tweet oh, that's why i took a picture of the limiter he sounds like a bit of a knock though isn't it? take a picture of the limiter you're going over the limit put the, the noise down it's like relax bruv you know what i mean if you don't run the club chill um which ironically looks exactly like the behavior of a shitty techno bro dj oh he's basically saying there are no gender wars here man you're just a prick oh ho, ho. it continues you are totally disrespectful drunk as fuck <laughs> and still pouring booze into yourself that's a brutal insult not even pouring or not even drinking you're pouring booze into yourself like she was just there downing taking a bottle of jameson's to the face jaeger master to the face bex no she was like a beer girl she just like she drinks pints you know what i mean cronenberg to the face she's like holding the bottom of the glass like oh, oh. mad girl you ended 25 minutes after you should have. <laughs> Start late, end late, innit? Fuck it. Let's go, Chippy. Only because one person from the club crew turned you off and took you off. Wow. How embarrassing is that being in a nightclub? Someone has to turn your flipping system off in order to get you off to stop playing. Yikes. There must be bare stuff that happens on like the... I'm not too sure this was a major market. Maybe this was like a... 
Maybe this was in Poland. I'm not really sure. That is Poland, isn't it? Walker, wherever that, that place was, he said. I'm, I assume it was Poland. I bet there must be some mad stories, isn't it, in those smaller regions um, where maybe, you know, no one's going to share an Instagram video of you playing in some random club in Hungary, in Romania, in Poland or whatnot. Do you know what I mean? Whereas they're going to share always images of you playing in Amsterdam, in Paris, in Berlin and whatnot. So there must be some really funny stories about people I'd love to find out about those people, man. Like, you know, you go to some of those bars and you hug them all. How was so-and-so? And they might have some really interesting stories to tell you, for sure. It continues. The dance floor could only hear low EQ, low FQ, sorry. In the whole venue, there was an overwhelming wall of bass. <laughs> this, was, this sounds like, um, what's his face? This sounds like a DJ set from, um, what's his flipping name, man? What's her name? What's the Asian lady's name that was married to the guy from the Beatles? That sounds like a she DJ. That's what it sounds. I mean, her just screaming to the mic. Like, ah! <laughs> it continues. It was uncomfortable for people who attended this party and they left during your set, quote unquote. But this biggest problem is not your lack of skills. Oh, Panera with the dunks. It is your behavior. USB stick. You were wasted. You 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 were so wasted that you almost fell down. <laughs> I love her, bro. Rock star shit. Chippy nonstop is a rock star, man. We don't play around here. We go to DJ in smaller markets and we pour cheap beer down our throats. We get ligged up on ket, coke, whatever else we can get up our nostrils. We play with four channels up, even though we're only using two. <laughs> we peak everything. Everything's at red. Rago turn 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 the flipping um turn the turn the limiter or whatever up to up to red on everything and let's roll. You took some drugs, drank more, passed out, drank more, and a few times attacked us <laughs> during our time putting your USB over and over until one of us told you to get the fuck out. She beat up these boys behind the decks. She pissed them off because she was mixing dodgy. Bruv, this woman's a ledge. Absolute <laughs> ledge. <laughs> Disaster, but I love it. This is the energy that we need, man. Enough of all this, like, I want to compete with the men. I want to do this this way. They don't let me. No, come in like a wrecking ball. Both, you know, physically and metaphorically, she's coming in like a wrecking ball. Let's do this, man. Get out the way. Elbows and baps. Elbows and baps. It continues. We didn't want to publish it. At first, we <laughs> thought that it was... Bruv, she's not fucking... Ricardo Villalobos or you know whatever like relax man just publish it no big deal they thought they were going to get cancelled for airing out their grievance with, with Trippy nonstop. it says more about these guys than her innit but anyway um, at first we thought that it was this sometimes happening to anyone it's business full of temptations but then we heard okay so they thought it was a one off but then they heard from other people bad mouthing her that she gets on it all the time <laughs> <laughs> but it's a business full of temptation he says but then we heard that this is not the first time you're acting like this still we chose not to publish it but this is just too much <laughs> that one tweet set them up honestly she's got a way of pressing people's buttons she just said i hate playing with techno bros made some vague insults here and there but it wasn't anything crazy and it still touched him so clearly this lady has the ability to really get on people's skin clearly we're going to upload a video from your spectacular show on our Instagram. Take care, practice more, and stop being such a hateful person. By the way, we asked someone from Warsaw for an explanation of what happened yesterday, and it wasn't the male DJ who was responsible for the delay. Oh, the male and female wars in DJ continue. It's proper G-A-Y in like the proper sense of G-A-Y. It's lame. It's awful. It makes no sense. Just share the dance floor together. Share the booths together. If someone's playing a fast set before you, it doesn't matter. Just flipping, lower the flipping channel and then let them have their moment. Let them have their claps and then you start playing whatever you want to play, whether it's 86 BPM or 120. It doesn't actually matter. And if the person before you is getting lick, liquored up and they're peaking and doing whatever, don't be a knock. Don't start recording them and showing that they're peaking the limiter and they've got all the channels up. Who cares? Maybe share it with your friends in a group chat and stuff, but it's not something to kind of you know hit some over the head with someone's terrible and not taking a job seriously it just is what it is the whole flipping industry or genre occupation is full of chances and people who just got there because of whatever reason they got there it's not a serious occupation is it there's some people that take it seriously don't get me wrong but it's not exactly like um 
rocket science to be able to DJ. And some people can do it liquored up and ketted up and coked up and MDMA up and shroomed up and weed up and whatever else. Let them do as they please. If they have a horrible set and they clang all over the place, it makes for a better story for you to tell your friends. And also, it gives you an opportunity to come in and fucking sound like DJ Harvey. Because if you just play a semi decent set, you're going to sound amazing. You're going to sound like Ben UFO compared to them if they're there clanging all the channels up, not, no, no idea where they are, playing the same tune twice. Um, Port, you know queuing and stopping the wrong track thinking it's another track like that's all in your favor mate it's not really that big of a deal in my opinion i don't necessarily think so but clearly my guy panera was not having it but yeah big up chippy non-stop for rattling everybody all the time absolute legend one of the greatest djs out there in the industry i don't care i don't care <laughs> i love it man funny how she does this so easily with such with such with such ease with such panache it happens you know with a flick of the wrist, some would say. With a flick of the absolute wrist. <laughs>